Is the serial killer gene real? Let's dive into some facts. Monoamine oxidase A is an enzyme that breaks down important neurotransmitters in the brain, including dopamine and serotonin. Low levels of serotonin have been associated with impulsive and aggressive behavior. Several studies have found a correlation between the low activity form of MAOA gene and aggression. This gene has also been associated with antisocial behavior. In 1993, Brunner syndrome was described by H.G. Brunner and his colleagues upon the discovery of a particular genetic defect in male members of a large Dutch family. Brunner discovered that all of the male family members with this defect reacted aggressively when provoked, angry, scared or frustrated. The defect was later found to be a mutation in the gene that codes for the MAOA gene. Serotonin is the key hormone that stabilizes our mood, feelings of well-being and happiness. This hormone impacts our entire body. It enables brain cells and other nervous system cells to communicate with each other. Serotonin also helps with sleeping, eating and digestion. It is often called the happy chemical and it may help prevent depression. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that your body produces. Your nervous system then uses it to send messages between nerve cells. Dopamine plays a valuable role in how we feel pleasure. It is a vital part of our unique human ability to think and plan. Research indicates that people with the so-called warrior gene exhibit higher levels of behavioral aggression in response to provocation. In the experiment, subjects penalized opponents by administering varying amounts of hot sauce. MAOA has earned the nickname, warrior gene, because it has been linked to aggression in observational and survey-based studies. Some physical environmental factors include sleep deprivation, smoking, substance abuse, pollution, exposure to toxins during childhood and also extreme weather conditions. Social environmental factors include lack of social support, history of abuse, having a dysfunctional family during childhood, early loss of a parent, poverty, lack of spirituality, lack of meaningful work or hobbies, toxic relationships and lastly, the lack of self-care or relaxation. Several studies indicate that MAOA may be involved in the pathogenesis of major depressive disorder. A significant elevation of MAOA activity was found in the hypothalamic region of post-mortem brains from suicide victims. American-based neuroscientist Kent Keel spent his entire career studying psychopaths and what makes them do the things they do. Keel acquired a mobile MRI scanner and visited state prisons in order to scan the brains of inmates. He possesses the most comprehensive database of psychopathic brain data in the United States, with 3,000 violent offenders on record. He found that they lack compassion, empathy and conscience. In his work he's also found that psychopaths tend to have less gray matter in the brain region that he is targeting and they also have smaller amygdalas, the area of the brain known for empathy. Females with the same variant of the MAOA gene seem resistant to its potentially violent effects. Males have one Y chromosome and one X chromosome and possess only one copy of this gene while females have two X chromosomes females basically have another functioning gene to be used as a backup. The main symptoms of MAOA deficiency are mild mental retardation, behavioral abnormalities and sleep disorders affecting males. The most common symptom being antisocial behavior with violent aggression triggered by anger. Strangely enough, tests and studies suggest that the so-called warrior gene is associated with happiness in women. Don't assume that all serial killers have this mutated gene. Do all serial killers have the gene? Unfortunately there is no definite answer to this question. There are several studies suggesting that there are some serial killers that have no genetic predisposition to kill and are created purely by their environment, mostly during childhood. Progesterone and Rawolfia serpentina are a possible treatment as they both increase MAOA activity. Treatment is based on the signs and symptoms present in each person. Recent studies suggest that cautious treatment with serotonin reuptake inhibitors and dietary changes can improve symptoms. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe for more videos.